which is against the law. Well, and you know, you know? We, we've had in the past, you know, we had a company too that came in and just, I guess, thought they could just fly out of here and not Do whatever. tell anybody and not, you know, so right. we kind of had to do a little research at one time on someone else and, uh -huh. you know, there again, we didn't, Right. Nobody wants to divulge information. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, see. Hi. Hi. You know, see you later. All right, Byron. Are you the city of Bruton here? Yeah. Okay, I need some help here. Okay. I thought I was in charge here, since I no one was here, so. <laughs> Those details. Well, you're welcome to take over some of the uh, dudes. Empty the trash cans and stuff like that. Okay, I was out at the airport, and uh, some of the some of the guys out there informed me that a Doug Jackson flies out of that uh, airport there. Mm -hmm. and there's a big sign there that says that everyone who spray planes needs to register with the city. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'd like to find out what the number, uh, the plane number of this Doug Jackson is because he's a presumably it's the guy I'm looking for. Okay. And that should be public information, so it should have no problem. No, well, no, I'm not giving you a problem. Oh, okay. I'm just, okay. I'm just trying to see what you're asking me for. So you basically want his business license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, if I can, if I can get a copy of it. I'm not giving you a hard time. Well, it, <laughs> I haven't you, even had a chance. I, I appreciate that because everywhere I've gone, I've got the runaround. So, and usually when I go ask these kind of questions, I get the runaround. So when I run into someone that actually cooperates, no, you it's... Were talking, it, you were talking numbers and I, my mind is going... I, I've got one of those days today where my okay. mind is going like okay, this. Okay, okay. So and thinking, I'm making you go I'm the opposite way, right? phone numbers, I'm thinking, you know, whatever. So, yeah, we have several folks that fly out of there. Okay. Uh, actually, four. Okay. Different ones. So. Well, is it possible I could get a copy of each one of them just in case um, one is not the right guy? Or the guy I'm after is not the right guy? It sounds like this is the Are one, they in though. some kind of trouble? <laughs> well, I'm going to the sheriff. I got a, uh, They were overflying my house when they're spraying, and they're supposed to stay so many feet above you know, residential mm -hmm. areas there. Mm -hmm. And then we've had a problem with this before, you know, when they're flying out of Glenwood. So I okay. presume that's probably why they're they're going somewhere else and then flying out of there because... Well, Doug has flown out of here for years. Well, and there's not... I'm, I'm just asking... No, I'm just trying to I'm find... I'm just asking, I, is it a yellow plane? It's a yellow there's plane. There's two yellow planes that fly out. Okay, well, that's... Uh, I'm trying to figure it out because I was up in Glenwood and they didn't... had no clue who this guy was. I mean, one guy said he did and then he changed his mind. You know, so if for you know, and if they and uh, these guys here said that this Doug has a hangar, both in Glenwood and mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. See, so obviously the guys up in Glenwood know who this guy is, but yeah. it sounds like he lives in Glenwood, so they didn't really want to get him in trouble or but, something you know, like that. The thing is, we've never really had. We actually had somebody complain about who they thought. Well, see, With that's Doug. that's see, what this I. This is the reason I know there's two yellow planes. Right. Because, well, you well, know, uh, when see, you that's see, where I'm trying to. You see the crop sprayers going. They're up in there. You don't know who they are. Oh, know? right, right. Well, but, see, that's why I got it. That's why I got it on video, and I just want to make sure I know. And, I don't want to be blaming someone who doesn't want to be blamed. No, see. And, and that actually, because he came to a meeting, and you know, he came in and handled, conducted himself well at the meeting, and and uh, you know, he said, no, he said, I understand the parameters and things like that. Right, so, right, right. You know, I don't, I'm not saying it's not. Well, I, 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 I'm not saying you are or aren't, but see, the, the thing is, I, I just like to find out so I don't go accusing someone who doesn't want to get accused. I mean, who doesn't deserve to be accused. Yeah. See? And then... And see, and that's where I was, you know, that's where I just like to get some straight answers. And I went over to the, to the pea plant over there and they got all pissy with me. You know, because obviously it's their peas. So I, I wanted to find out some information, <laughs> and, and, and it just happened, okay, to, and just happened to be the I'm guy. I'm going to tell you a little something Go ahead. Here. Um, I, th I don't think Doug sprays for Lakeside. Well, okay. So uh, just, no, like I said, I'm just telling you yeah. that I think. Well, I, like I said, if, if they. I think the one that sprays for Lakeside. Okay. I believe. Might be emerald. Emerald, okay. So, okay. So well, like I said, I want, I want to find out. Help you out 
if, if it's right, if it's peas, then that might be something. Okay. Well, see, that's where I don't know, and that's go, where I was just, forward. I just wanted to find out from them. Well, what's going on? And you know, they got all cranky. I said, hey, this guy's overflying my place, which is against the law. Well, and you know, you we, know, we've had in the past. You know, we had a company too that came in and just, I guess, thought they could just fly out of here and not Do whatever. tell anybody and not, you know, so. Right. We kind of had to do a little research at one time on someone else, uh -huh. and you know, there again, we didn't. Right. Nobody wanted to divulge information. <laughs> right. Right. City. Well, like, see. You know, this is for our knowledge because. Right. We have to know that they have insurance when they're flying out of our airport. Well, you and know, if they're and if they're breaking the law, yeah. you know, they are, you, you know, I don't think you're allowed to be flying out of your airport it's anymore. Not like so. You charge an arm and a leg. Right. To have right. a business license here in town. Right. right. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, and that's what I was, I was going over there. It says, you know, all I'm trying to trying to ask you to do is be a good public citizen. Yeah. You know, yeah. and you know, and if someone's harassing me, then I would expect no, someone else to help me out. No, so. and you're absolutely right. You mm -hmm. know, you. Yeah, that right. Oh yeah, and that's where I so, told him. I told him the first. I told him what was going on. Then, then she said, "Well, are you recording?" He says, "Yeah, because I'm going to the sheriff next." And then all of a sudden, oh, we can't allow you to have tape recorders and blah blah blah, and they threw me out. So I said, oh, "I don't care. That don't bother me at all. I've been thrown out of places. I have no problem with that at all." Because well, I sure hope this isn't going to show up on the news somewhere. <laughs> well, the thing is. You've done a good job, so I appreciate your help. So I mean, it's yeah. you know, and I've gone to a lot of places like I said that just been real assholes to me, and I have no problem you know putting that up on there and and saying that they're a bunch of assholes. But I mean, I just put up one where I was in St. Cla or Stearns County, uh, uh, the HR resources, and this lady, you know, she was kind of upset that I did a video on her. I said, "What? Why?" I said, "You did a good job." And all of a sudden, she got a great big smile on her face. See, so. You know, so I mean, and that's why I told these guys. I said, if you're not to blame, then there's nothing to fear. See? But. Well, and see, and that's where bells and whistles go off in my head that, you know, because at first she said they, 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 that they were their peas, see? Mm -hmm. So, and like I said, I mean, if you got nothing so to... where do you look? Glenwood. You, oh. Yeah, so I, we stopped in the Starbucks airport first because okay. he headed that way, and then we went to Glenwood, and then we talked to him there, and then we came down here. So we kind of figured he was out of Bruton before we even got here, but then we decided, you know, what the heck, we'll just go here because we wanted to talk to the pea plant anyhow. So, But thanks again for your time. You did a good job. I appreciate your help. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Did you like that one? No, I am cute. You know, See? come on in. Yeah, I am going to come on in. You know, in fact, Oh, no, which, which one is it now? Let's go outside. Am I going inside or are we going outside? What are we going to do now? See, I got witnesses you here. Do this in the hallway? Yeah, let's do it in the hallway. Is I'm going to take my yeah, I'm going to take my complaint right here. No, see, I, I need some witnesses here. I'm being harassed by this asshole here.